All right, guys, welcome to Two Split. Today we are unboxing the Bose 700. No funny letters in between, just Bose 700. Um, straight off the bat, these are not um, the replacements for the Quiet Comfort series, the QC 35s. I think this is a different direction in terms of design, style, and everything. So, without much ado, let's take this ridiculous piece of paper off the top. Yeah. As a, everything bows, it's simplistic, it's black. I think these come in two variants, the black and the silver edition, I believe. They promise 20 hours per charge and they come with Bose AR. So this is augmented reality. It's, it's something, it's like augmented reality for sound that Bose promises, but yeah, don't know how well that works. We'll test, we'll, we'll talk about that in full review. Uh, this works with iPhone, iPad, and has built-in assistance, Google Alexa and Siri. Depending on which platform you're using, you're, you should be good to go. And let's pop these babies open. Ooh, that feels good. That feels good. There's another one? Okay, there's another one. Yeah, that feels good. Okay, opening the box, straight up it goes straight into the container, the case. So this is the carrying case. And again, simplistic bows, all black. Black everything style. Once you open them, there are your Bose 700 sitting pretty. Uh, let's put that to one side. Let's see what else is in the box. It says start here, the manual. Nobody reads these because it's really thick and has many languages, including my favorite one, Mandarin. And this is stuff you should not eat. Don't eat this. Okay, let's put these aside. So my wife's headphones, where she kills me. And here they are. Let's bring these out. And straight off, they feel lighter than they look, actually. Considering this is stainless steel, you would think they're a bit heavier. Uh, but they, they feel quite light, actually. Uh, inside the cups, we have the right markers for dummies and the left for dummies as well, so you know which one's your left ear and your right ear. Hashtag, I'm just saying. Interesting. Over here, yeah, not important. Let's talk more about that later. In here, oh, there's a secret compartment. I didn't almost almost missed it. And you pop this open. All right, there's USB-C charger. Of course, you need that. It's modern, it works. And there's your 35 millimeter jack for your when you're not using Bluetooth, you want to connect directly. This should work just fine. There's this cardboard that sort of lets you know that on the right ear, it's a touch sensitive area. I'm guessing this front part here for pause and play, uh, increasing the volume. I guess you swipe up and down and to tap to take your calls. And this is telling you to download the Bose Music app, which you can use to set up features on, on, on these babies. And like I said, they do feel light. Um, I like the design concept. It's like a straight bar instead of the hinge is gone. So you can't fold these anymore, but they do fold sideways so that they sit in here comfortably. On the right ear cup is a power and Bluetooth button. So I guess if you press this once, it comes on. Um, if it, there are sensors in here, so that after 10 minutes, it'll go off automatically to save your power. And you can store up to 10 devices on this, but connect to two simultaneously, but only play music from one at a time. So the button below the power button and Bluetooth button calls up the assistant you want to work with, whether it's Siri, Alexa, or Google, so, you know, either way, whatever, whatever rocks your boat, they should do it for you. And this is the active noise cancellation. And Bose has been the king of active noise cancellation for quite a while until the Sony MX3 showed up. I know, I know, haters, meet me in the comment, but I will review them right alongside, if possible, the Sony MX3s, because I think those are probably the new king of, of uh, noise cancellation, in my opinion. But Bose has always been fantastic at it. I mean, they are fantastic. They're, they're, they're awesome. It's almost like dead silence when you put it. But I think this now gives you three levels of noise cancellation. Uh, total blackout in between and then full pass through audio. Yeah, so this is a soft pad in here. Yeah, but the rest is uh, stainless steel, I believe. And they do slide. Yeah, you can slide them up and down for sizing. Okay, uh, this is the hole that takes the 35mm jack. And I think to set it up, you're going to need the Bose app. Do I have that? Oh, it says it's already installed. Yeah, that's, that's true. It is already installed. So you pop up, hit new product, headphones. 
uh, searching for nearby headphones and it's found my Bose 700 ad product had these and pairing request pairing connect allow pair and, that, and that's really it. it's pretty straightforward right um, I think after it syncs with the cloud to make sure that this device is yours it comes up with a whole list of options the battery indicator says this is probably low I probably need to charge it but again I will run through all the features especially the noise cancellation which I think is Bose has always been fantastic at you could pretty much shut out the world with these babies like I said these are not replacements for the quiet comfort series I think those are doing very well wouldn't be wise for Bose to replace those but it is what it is I will tell you guys how they sound I can tell you right now that they sound great but I'll tell you exactly how they sound and how they do up against the competition in terms of noise cancellation until we get to that this is me signing out thank you guys for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button uh, thanks for watching God bless you keep washing those hands guys peace